Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Good day folks, welcome back to On the Bench. It seems no matter where you go to fish or what time of year, chances are good you're going to encounter a midge hatch at some point. Midges are a very important food source to trout, available year round, and I think there's like 17,000 different types of them in North America. And really good pattern in the winter time as well. Today I'm going to tie you up my shimmer midge. It's a little pattern I created based on Charlie Craven's Jujube Midge and Pat Dorsey's Black Beauty. Both very popular patterns. Make sure you have these materials ready before you tie the fly. For hook I'm using a Togans. It's a size 16, uh, 3x heavy scud hook. 1x short um, in length. For thread I'm using 18 knot uh, Semperfly Classic Waxed and Black. For the rib I'm using 0.1 millimeter silver wire. For the flashback I'm using Togan's Crony Skin in red. For the wing case and legs, I'm using Semperfly Microglint Tinsel in Pearl. And for the thorax, I'm using Semperfly Superfine Dubbing in Black. So you can go ahead and start your thread, and I'm just going to leave it a little bit back from the hook eye at first. Next, take your piece of wire and tie that in. Um, you could use any color wire. Copper would be good. Red would be good as well. Next, I'm going to take my uh, flash. I'm using the Karani Skin from Togans. Thanks to Togans for this product to try out. Um, I like it because it's nice and thin, and I just want to go make it a flashback up the hook um, shank. So I'm just going to use two pieces. Tie those in on top. I'm going to give my thread a little spin counterclockwise just to flatten it out a little bit. And then just start making thread wraps down the hook shank. Trying to maintain a nice uh, smooth body. I'm going to go quite far down the bend. I'm going to check the other side. Next, I'm going to take my hook and just invert it in the vise. Thread out for that. Just like that. And then what I'm going to do is take the... Um, I'm just going to put a couple wraps here. I'm going to take the flash and I'm going to pull it over and I'm just going to place uh, one wrap on top of it before moving my thread forward. And now I'm going to bring it back and come in front of it. And the reason I do that is because if you don't, the, the um, flash has more of a tendency to slip when you're trying to bring it up the hook. And now I'm just going to move my uh, hook back into position here. Continue to build my body. A little bit of a taper. That should be good. And then next I've just been taking um, a very, very small amount of crazy glue. Um, you don't have to do this step. And I'm just going to bring my flash over top and my thread over at the same time and I'm just placing it on the other side as I'm holding it on top. So I'm going to do three uh, wraps and lock it in there. And then next just take your thread in front do a couple of wraps over it. Hold it good and strong. Snip that away. So you can see it's just running up the back there. And I'm just going to throw a half hitch in at this point. And 
Move my thread off to the side. Next, I'm just going to take my vise and start making the rib. Ideally, you want about um, seven to eight ribs on a midge or chronomid. And once it's up at the front, I'm just going to do a couple more uh, wraps over at the front just for a little bit of weight. And then just tie the uh, wire off. And break that away. Next, I'm gonna bring my thread back over the wire here build up a little bit of a, a thread base. And that's where I'm going to tie in my micro glint. So when I was watching uh, Charlie Craven tie his jujube midge, I think he uses something called fluorofiber um, for the wing case and the um, and the wing buds. And he uses 12 strands and I've just I'm just using six of the uh, micro glint. I, I've never seen the fluorofiber. I'm assuming it's thinner because I tried to use 12 and it was way too much. So I've just got six pieces of the micro glint. I'm just going to tie these in on top. I'm just going to use a little bit of um, cobbler's wax on my thread. It's a slippery, um, slippery material. So it's good to use a tiny bit of wax, even with wax thread. I'm just going to place it right on top. make a few wraps over it. Let's see how it's sliding down. And it will do that. I'm going to wax my thread again. It's just a little tiny piece I want to make sure it goes over top of. Even though the dubbing is going to cover that up anyway. And then I'm going to bring it back as far as I want my uh, thorax to start. Go right there. You still want to maintain a, a, a little bit of space here at the front for the head as well. Next I'm going to take my super fine dubbing. Um, any black dubbing is fine. This super fine, I want to make a, a, a really tight little noodle so this super fine helps do that with. I don't want a large uh, thorax. If it gets loose, you can just pull it down and give it another twist with your fingers. I'm staying well back from the head. Next, just bring your, I'm going to give my thread a little bit more wax. And next, just bring your um, uh, wing case over top of the thorax and tie it off with your thread. And then I'm going to bring up a wrap in front to lock it in. And then next, I've just been taking um, three to each side of the fly for the wing buds. And just hold them back once you get them into position. So I've got them just held back and just a little bit above here. And now I'm just going to wrap over top of these and build a nice black head on there. It's slipping again because of the micro glint. So I'm going to apply a little bit of wax also because I don't plan on using head cement on this fly. Um, so the wax helps hold the whip finish a little bit better. And then just whip finish. So if you've ever hit, uh, fished a midge hatch, I'd love to hear in the comments your favorite ways to 
fish them or some of your favorite patterns. Uh, here in BC we can only fish one fly at a time so we're stuck to that method but yeah I'd love to hear about it in the comments. And don't forget the new season series 26 of Sport Fishing on the Fly is now airing across North America. Just check your local listings. As well our member site has all the new and classic shows commercial free as well as some of the member only videos coming out and bench segments. Thanks for joining me on this edition of On the Bench. Take care everyone. Conserve the waters and tight lines.